Hi everyone, I'm Kristen from runfitmoment.net. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and you can also check out my blog if you wanna find out some extra info and some other little things that I like to write about. So here today, I am going to walk you through my meal prep Sunday. I like to get it done Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon. It takes me an hour or two top. I think if you're willing to meal prep and really set aside the time, you can absolutely find the time to do it. Like I've said in a previous um, video about Trader Joe's, you can find stuff that's super, super easy that takes you 45 minutes, or you can make it as long as you like. You could do some crock pot cooking, you could just get very creative, make your own protein bars, things like that. So I'm kind of going the simple route this week. Um, I'm just gonna make a bunch of protein and some veggie sides, but I would love to take you along and show you what I'm doing. Don't judge my kitchen because you know I cleaned it like two days ago and thanks to everyone in my house, it's already filthy, but Anyway, hopefully you get some really good ideas and here we go. Hey guys, so like I said before, I'm all about the quick and easy. So right behind me, there's a crock pot full of chicken. I did six chicken breasts. I have a little video that I took this morning that I will insert right after this, but my voice is a little soft because it was so early, but I just put a little bit of olive oil. I just kind of eyeballed it, honestly. Some balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and then I put it on low for four hours. What I'm gonna do next is just drain the liquid and then shred it and use it for a bunch of different meals. So I'm starting out this meal prep Sunday with some really quick and easy crock pot chicken. I got this recipe from Lori Christine King on Instagram and she has a blog as well. Um, I'm using organic um, olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and then I'm going to slow cook it for about four hours. And then once it's done, I'll just drain the extra liquid and then shred it and just use it up for some meals for butternut squash and green beans. So here's a look at the chicken once it's done. I know it looks a little bit brown, but it's just from the vinegar, but it smells amazing. And what I'm gonna do is shred it. You can add your favorite little um, type of sauce, like barbecue sauce or something like that on top for your meals. And I'm just gonna divide it out. I'm gonna use it with some sauteed veggies that I've already made up and some roasted butternut squash. All right, so for my next meal, I've been feeling very Thanksgiving-y, probably from the cold weather, but I'm gonna make some of these turkey cranberry meatballs I found at Trader Joe's. They've been sitting in my freezer. I've been dying to use them. I'm gonna do four meatballs for each meal. I found these oven roasted potatoes, oh my gosh, oven roasted potatoes at um, Costco, if you watch my Costco haul on Instagram. But these are great because for only 140 grams, it's only 25 carbs. And I know a lot of people think that potatoes are just some sort of carb bomb, but that's if you have a giant big potato the size of your head. This is a really good, nice portion, it's about a half a cup. And I'm gonna probably eat this with some green beans, make it very holiday, like I said. And then I'll probably have it after a really good hard leg day at the gym. So here's what I have. What, buddy? I see. Coco, that's awesome. Ryan, oh my gosh. So here's a little bit of real life. It's actually happening while I'm trying to film this. Look, Coco. What, buddy? Look. I see. What book is that? It's Coco. Coco, let me see the front. Let me see the front, the other side. This side, is that Coco? Yay. Okay, so here's it all, it's all put together now. So we have the potatoes, we have some zucchini and a little bit of butternut squash that I had left over. And then we have the meatballs as well. Hope you enjoyed my little slice of real life with Max running into the shot and Sophia the first playing in the background. Okay, so then I also found these in the freezer. <clears throat> They're chicken cilantro wontons. They're from Trader Joe's. You can have four pieces for 0.5 grams of fat, 50 calories, nine carbs, and three grams of protein. So I'm gonna pair that. I'm gonna throw in some cauliflower rice stir fry with my coconut aminos, which I'll show you in a second, and then some ground turkey. And I think that's gonna be a really great meal. It's gonna be lots of healthy carbs, some really healthy fat, and some good protein. So this is Oh my gosh, that took me way longer than I thought to find it. I almost grabbed vanilla. This is the coconut liquid aminos that I was talking about. It tastes just like soy sauce and it's perfect on top of like a good stir fry. So that's gonna be my last meal I think I'll make for today. So I have the crock pot chicken I'm gonna do with veggies. I have the turkey cranberry meatballs, which I'm really excited to eat. And then I'm gonna do the ground turkey with the um, cauliflower rice. So I will show you once everything's done. So here we go, I have my little wontons cooking. I have my cauliflower stir fry with my aminos on top. I'm just gonna saute that until it's done and then separately cook my ground turkey. And then I'm just gonna divide all this up into four different um, meals. And 
it's a lot of volume. I think total it's probably about 22-ish carbs. And then with the protein, it's gonna be about 25. And then with the fat, about six or seven, depending on the type of ground turkey that I'm using. This is the organic ground turkey I'm gonna use. I got it from Costco, if you saw my Instagram story. And the calories are 150, seven fat, zero carbs, 21 protein, so it's a pretty good deal. So the good news is I found enough ingredients to make my protein pancakes that I love to have. Um, I just need a third of a cup of Quaker oats. I'm gonna do a third of a cup of egg whites and then a third a cup of cottage cheese. And all you do is you just blend it in a blender and it makes like three little round pancakes. It's perfect. They're really filling. I top it with some almond butter, usually before a really hard workout or after. It's a nice little treat and it's perfect. So I'm gonna make those next. So actually now I have like four meals to show you. All right guys, I decided to make just one giant pancake so I can save some space in the fridge. I'm gonna make five total servings. So I have something Monday through Friday before the gym. These are perfect on the go. I just make it with a little bit of almond butter on top and they're super yummy. All right guys, there was everything from my meal prep Sunday. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me your best meal prep recipe and you can find me on runfitmama on Instagram and runfitmama.net for my blog and please don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.